Hi everyone and welcome back to the day before. Today we're going to start playing Nancy Drew Warnings at Waverly Academy and I'm going to have a lot of uh, gameplay videos for you or oh, let's plays because my husband's working from home and I have trouble uh, finding time to record other videos. But um, we were going to play Nancy Drew games uh, regardless, so I figured on our time in quarantine or our stay-at-home uh, orders, we can have fun and play video games. Alright, so this is called Warnings at Waverly Academy, and I'm going to open the case file for you guys so you can hear uh, what's going on with Nancy Drew in this game. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed totally on my own into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. No kidding. All right, let's go, you guys. the new person uh becca something becca sawyer i'm green the person who stuck rooming with you i mean you're the person who stuck rooming with me anyway welcome to my your uh, our humble dwelling space all right well interesting here's our roommate what's her name corinne thanks sorry to barge in and bug you like this you look really busy busy that's the understatement of the year I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Okay. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. I was told you could help me, you know, get oriented. Oh, yeah, you bet. Let's see. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, don't judge, Corinne. shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by page. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Oh, and I should probably tell you about the curse. The curse? Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these like threatening notes from someone calling herself the black cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Oh, Somebody's no. obviously playing a prank. 
but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. Yes, that would freak me out too. I mean, the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever, it's not gonna work on me. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. Really? Where did you find it? On the floor over there. Somebody slipped it under the door during the night. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic. So when oh, they found no. her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. Just That's gone. terrible. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Does she ever stop playing? Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. Oh my. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? Uh... <laughs> it's just that well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, there's a note. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Interesting. Let's put our picture of our friend up. Go meet people. Whoa, watch it. Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My what? hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way, you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. Wow, let's go see who is playing all this, uh, music. <laughs> who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? How did you know? The primary source of all wisdom and truth around here has been all a buzz. So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. You sound a little skeptical. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate, Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was 10. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. 
She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast, too, so we get along pretty well. Who's smarter, you or Corrine? She thinks she's smarter than everybody and won't hesitate to say so, which I think automatically makes me smarter. It's probably a toss-up. No biggie. No biggie? Don't you want to be valedictorian? I'm going to college no matter what. But everyone else wants to be valedictorian so much, I can't resist trying to spoil it for them. Who else is Kareen friends with? Well, I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Mm, Did cool. your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. All right. Let's go see if we can't meet everyone in this episode today that we will be playing uh, what? in this game. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. But it's my first day. I barely know my way around. Then this will be a great way to get oriented and meet people. I mean, you just met me, right? Uh, not really. I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Oh my word. Nancy Drew is always having to do other people's stuff. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Ugh. All right, let's meet her. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back. Becca Sawyer. <laughs> Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't you? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Do you think the black cat had anything to do with your wrist? Well, my falling like that was really weird. I mean, ordinarily, I'm real coordinated. But I think it was just bad luck. Happens to everybody. I mean, look at you, being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next. Or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. Really? See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. 
on me at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. I'm waiting. I said fire when ready. Be patient. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. <laughs> Who does hang out with her? Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend right. to call. He goes to Oxboro. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. Let's see. I think we met everyone. Let's head to the library real quick. Okay. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette de are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. Do you have a roommate? My roommate's Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually okay. get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone I needed knows the password is, everyone knows the computer. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Nobody likes Kareen. She must have some friends. Nope. Nobody who's worth being friends with, anyway. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Kareen wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's gonna hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Right. <laughs> Ready for my close-up, darling. I like the characters in this game, too. I think that's why I like Alibi and Ashes. This game. Let's see. Let's go, Becca. Oh my gosh. All of them are so impatient when I'm taking pictures. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She doesn't have one single friend? Nope. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. Okay. What else is going on? Let's just thank her for all the advice, and then I will let you go for today. If we've met everyone, I'll double check. Thanks for all the advice. Adios. And we can talk to her and do that little puzzle thing later and all that stuff. Let's see. That's done. Let's see if it asked if we met everyone.
it doesn't, but I think we did meet everyone. So I think I'm going to uh, leave you guys here for today. Looks like the library assistant is Corinne Myers. And uh, we'll play more of this awesome game later, you guys. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.